Hey, Noobsox, Shield65 here, and I am with the brand oop, <laughs> the brand new Civil Rework on PBE, of course, not not League, it's not out yet. That's what this whole video is going to be about, brand new things on the PBE. So, this is uh, Sivir, you know, she's an ugly, stupid champion that we've had a while, but as you can see, she's pretty now. No, not really. But, uh, yeah, they're giving her a visual update and a slight kit rework, not, not super huge, not a whole, like, karma rework or anything, but it's definitely up there. So, her first ability is Boomerang Blade. Sivir hurls a crossblade that deals physical damage, equal to his percentage of stuff and yada yada yada, that uh, does that. It shoots and hits stuff. Alright. Her second ability is Ricochet. Sivir's next basic, or next three basic attacks, Ricochet from enemy to enemy, as you can see, and do uh, less damage the more that they hit, but uh, um, they apply on-hit effects on only the first basic attack. I uh, don't think I can pull off the other two abilities right now, so hang on two seconds. Quite literally two seconds. Alrighty, now let's see if I can get them to cast an ability at me. Come on, hit me. Oh, oh come on, come on. Oh, well, you know. Alright, so her shield, what it does is uh, it uh, blocks an enemy ability within three seconds, and if the ability hits the shield, I will gain 60 mana back. Probably scales the higher level that it goes, but for now it's just 60 mana. Let's see. Yep, gives me more mana at the higher level, so let's see. Ah, they won't attack me. Alrighty, her next ability is her ultimate. It's called On the Hunt. On the Hunt gives um, a passive of 40% attack speed while her ability Ricochet is active, and it also rallies my allies, giving them 60% movement speed that decays to 30% or to 30 by the last uh, 3 seconds, so... You know, good stuff. I'll show you a rally here in like two seconds. See, watch. Rawr! Now we're super quick. Yeah, pretty awesome, right? Um, other notable things in this uh, rework are a Heimer kit rework and a Zerath kit rework, which will be coming up in just a few moments. Also, another notable thing to the update is the Heimer rework, which allows him to place three turrets. Crazy, right? which do extra damage, and they also fire a magic bolt that hits every enemy at, like uh, in its pathway every 12 seconds. He also is able to skill shot rockets in this pattern. It's dependent on where you're pointing at. <coughs> See? Boom. Each rocket does 20% more damage to a champion if hit, so highest on my rockets right now would be 216 plus 163. Um, his grenade is now very quick firing and stuns in a smaller area but does more damage, and his ultimate does one of three things. It can either place an H28Q Apex Rocket, which deals way more damage, and, uh, well, just overall way more damage, and it's a lot larger. Hextech Rocket Swarm fires four waves of rockets that deal 180 plus 79 magical damage each. Champions and monsters hit by multiple rocket take reduced damage, max 690 plus 321. And the CH3X Lightning Grenade throws a bouncing grenade that discharges three times, dealing 200 plus 105 magic damage. Both that stun and slow areas are larger, and slow is improved by 8%. So let's start with that one. That looks OP. Alright, hang on two secs. His next ulti ability is the Rockets, which fire in a barrage of three. Or way more than three. Hang on, let me read that again. Uh, four waves, holy crap, that's OP. Probably upgrades to five with the last level of ultimate, but that would hit really hard. In fact, I would recommend using that in a team fight. Right, and for the final ability. And for Heimer's final ability, it is his C, or wait, no, H28Q Apex turret, which is a really, really, really large turret. Doesn't count towards the turret limit and does way, way more damage for eight seconds. So yeah. And that's the uh, Heimer rework. All right, the last and final rework that we will be looking at today is the Z-Rath rework, which, in my opinion, after playing him for 10 minutes, is really, really, really OP. All right, his passive, which has changed, none of the other ones changed, is Overwhelming Power. Z-Rath gains 4% spell penetration every 10 seconds. Z-Rath's next ability attack, or next basic attack, restores 70 mana. Attacking enemy champion restores 210 mana. I didn't have to use a single mana pot all lane. Actually, I lied. I used one. All right, his next ability is Arcano Pulse. Zero charges and then fires a beam of energy, dealing 150 um, plus 38 magic damage to all enemies hit. 
Charging the spell increases its range. Which, by the way, I apologize, Z-Wrath is broken right now, no particle effects for me. So as you can see, it fired all the way over here, but nothing. His next ability is Cosmic Strike. Cosmic Strike is um, a blast of arcane energy, dealing 50 plus 27 magical damage to all enemies within a target area, slowing them by 10% for 2.5 seconds. Enemies in the center of the blast take 60% extra damage and are slowed by 40% instead. So, boom. Well, that one has particle effects for some reason. Alright, and then his E, Stasis Orb. Zerath unleashes an orb of raw magic, dealing 100 plus 27 magic damage. The orb explodes on contact, stunning its target for one second. Yep. Yeah, you couldn't see the orb, but it was there. And then his final ability, Ascension, his ultimate. Zerath ascends to his true form, briefly gaining arcane vision of a large area around himself. He becomes rooted in place and his basic abilities are disabled, but he gains four shots of very long distance magic artillery. Fire these shots off with left or right mouse buttons. The effect lasts up to seven seconds or until deactivated. After ascension ends, Zerath gains 30 movement speed for four seconds. Zerath bombards areas with explosive energy, dealing 150 plus 20 magic damage to all enemies in it. Or hit. All right, and then I, oh my god. Then I can go boom, boom, boom. I think. Oh, well that didn't work. Huh, <laughs> lol. Oh wait, yeah, it probably did work. Okay, just no particle effects, okay. Well, that should have exploded. I just wanna let you know, that that should have exploded. And uh, that'll be it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to rate, like, or dislike, um, favorite, and subscribe if you aren't already. I'm Chill65, and to all you noob sucks who are watching and new viewers, game happy. Bye.